What's up, Fergie Nation? Chris Ferguson here. Um, you guys know who I am. I don't know why I just did that. I feel kind of stupid, but uh, yeah, we're here at the race car shop Sunday. Um, getting the car washed up from where we tested the other night. Would have came yesterday, but my fiance Jenna's at Charlotte Motor Speedway this weekend, and we thought she was going to be super busy, so I went up there and helped her yesterday. And turns out, um, just wasn't very busy. So. This morning I've been able to come here and um, get this car cleaned up. And uh, yeah, it just, we're here this morning, or actually it's lunch time now. Uh, Dad and Terry's going to the land. I think Brandon's cleaning bounce houses, tap holes, probably doing yard work, but uh, don't enjoy washing on Sunday. Um, it's the Lord's day, but what we've had going on here lately, we just need to, keep uh keep ourselves ahead and so yeah got the motor out of this thing two nights ago me and brandon stayed here till 2 a.m uh getting the motor out dad tap old terry came home after the test and uh unloaded it and got it ready for us but um just wanted to give you guys kind of an update uh sorry i don't have my gopro or my uh camera or dji mics and sorry i don't have a full camera crew here I am Chris Ferguson. I uh, work full time and uh, my crew guys work full time and sometimes you just gotta make it work with a cell phone. So uh, yeah, we're um, doing a little update. Um, motor blew up, as you guys know. Um, really, we haven't had a lot of issues hardly ever with Clements. And uh, so I don't think it's something that could have been prevented. I don't think it was anybody's fault. Just sometimes it doesn't pan out. And um, so we got, uh, one crashed car right here, uh, the Bloomquist car, it's, that's killed. Uh, we got a Longhorn here with no motor in it. And um, yeah, so a uh, couple things that I wanna talk about. Um, people have been asking me like, what are you gonna do next week? Or uh, what's the plans for the next couple weeks? And first things first, uh, I just wanna talk about Eldora, the Dream 100's coming up. Um, Eldora is the epitome of dirt late model racing. And everyone knows that if you win there, you're cemented in the history books. Um, it's really, winning at Eldora at a crown jewel is, is probably the most important accomplishment you could have as a dirt late model driver. Nothing really trumps that. I don't care what anybody says about championships. Um, winning a dream or a world 100 is, is by far the, the goal that everybody wants to do. So, um, Right now, the focus is to get this car ready for Eldora. Uh, we'll figure out the motor situation Tuesday. Um, we'll let you guys kind of know more about that. But we do, um, we're gonna do everything we can to be there for that. Um, I've ran third in that race, fourth, fifth, seventh. Uh, been really good at Eldora the last five years. Um, and really just wanna, get it done finally. I know I haven't raced a ton this year and my performance has been so-so, uh, but when I go to these races, I, I feel like I can line up. It doesn't matter who's beside me, whether it's JD, Bobby Pierce, Brendan Overton, I feel like we have a shot to win. So, um, and everybody knows um, once you get into those features, it's a whole, whole nother story, but um, you know, we got to get in and this Longhorn has been um, it's been a good one. We haven't raced it a ton. We've got some success with it, but I've also had success at Eldora with the Longhorns before, so I feel really good about that. Um, this motor situation we'll figure out here in the next couple days, but yes, uh, that's kind of the first thing I want to address. Um, I've had a lot of support from sponsors. A lot of people reach out about helping, so we got some cool things coming, um, Fergie Nation. Uh, maybe a merch program and a way to support our dirt late model team, but we'll announce that later too. Um, as far as Hunt the Front goes, we have uh, truthfully, we've really enjoyed racing with them. We've got some um, good races. This weekend, I believe uh, there's two races at Swainsboro for Hunt the Front. Um, we do intend on racing them. We're, we're still figuring out the details about that and how the motor situation is going to come about. Um, you know, on the front's super cool. The, the series is awesome. Pays 50,000 to win. We're in second. I still feel like we have a shot at winning it. Um, 
but I'll be honest with you guys, uh, you know, Eldora, the Crown Jewel races are really why the, is part of the reason why we run Hunt the Front. They're not really on top of any of them. So um, I'd hate to say that, that the Hunt the Front races were more important than the Dream this weekend, uh, but they're not. So you know, the Dream is, is really where my priority and, and my sponsors and supporters, um, they love that. They love coming to Eldora and we want to run that race. We want to um, be ready and prepared. So we're going to figure that out, but we do have in, plans and intentions on running the Hunt the Front race this weekend. Uh, just got to figure out a couple details and whatnot before, before we uh, go down there and race. Um, but yeah, it's just, uh, just wanted to really talk about all that. Um, got a lot, a lot of stuff going on in my life right this second. Um, I'm engaged now, planning a wedding. Well, I'm not. My fiance is Jenna. Um, my brother's engaged also. Uh, everybody's busy. We're we're moving out of this race shop. Uh, we will be moving into Kings Mountain with the race shop. My dad's got a new place up there. Um, thank God, we're finally going to have a little room to work. That way, we don't have to have one car and shop and which we only have one car right now but we got a car we're building for someone and then a bent one sitting out here under a cover so uh, we got that going on um a lot of stuff going on uh just got a couple things that i'm excited to announce and i really truly hope to take you guys on the ride with us um it's hard to, to do this youtube stuff it's hard to um to create content when you're so busy actually doing the content and you don't have time to record it when you just need to get it done. So, um, but if I can make this cell phone work, I'll do my best to keep you guys updated. And I know that the fans love this stuff. I know that the sponsors love seeing it and you know, I'm just going to do my best. Keep, uh, keep, keep you guys in the loop. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't think there's really much else I wanted to uh, talk about besides that. Um, man, I just, I need to thank all my sponsors, you know. I just kind of want to go through them right now while I'm thinking about it. But Brian with Spartan Transportation, thank you for everything you do. Um, Brian does a lot for us. He has for the last two years. And we're, we wouldn't be able to do this without him. Uh, I want to thank Sweet Victory Apparel, my fiance, for supporting me. Um, I need to thank uh, uh, Spray Foam Technologies and Chad and his son, all their whole crew. They're on the spooler now. Um, also, uh, Bowtie used to be on the spooler, my buddy Chris. Um, I got to thank K&K Trucking, Joe and Jonna, for supporting me outside of racing, with racing. Um, Carolina Roofing and Gutters, uh, Scooter and his family, um, Schaefer's Old, Doug Smith, everybody at the Schaefer's Factory, they support me year in and year out, and a Christian based com company that supports dirt racing and, and dirt racers. Um, always will run Schaefer's Old. We run it in everything we have, whether it's the gear loop, transmission, old, uh, whatever. So um, I want to thank Splits. My buddy Jeff uh, out in Iowa, thank you for the support this year. It means a lot to me. Um, I want to thank Jason Heckle, Heckle's Plumbing. Uh, Jason's been a good friend of ours for five or six years now, and uh, he has supported us through a lot of things. Um, he's also helping with the new shop, doing the plumbing. Same thing with, with uh, Scooter King, Carolina Roofing, and also Chad with Spray Foam, so uh, Technology of Kentucky. So, um, yeah, thanks to those guys. Um, also want to thank, um, animal care clinic, Seth and Julie, uh, they're in Concord local. If you're at the dirt, if you're at the dirt track or if you're around Charlotte and you need your, um, you know, your, your pet or animal, uh, taken care of, that's the place to go. They support dirt track racing. So support them. Um, there's a lot of people on this car that I just don't want to miss. And I, I, I'm just super thankful for them. Um, Patriot meat processing, my friend, Brandon. Um, he's on the door this year. Brandon, uh, he has cooked for us at Eldora and other races. And if you're local in West Virginia, 
and you want a, the best steaks and whatever beef or meat needs you have, um, Brandon with Patriot Meat Processing, hit them up. I always see their Facebook post. Um, you won't you won't regret it. It's just great great food and great people. That's, that's who we uh, who we have involved in our race team. Um, I want to thank my friends Justin Ford and everybody with Dirt Diecast Exchange. They do a lot for us. Super I'm super super thankful for them. Um, you know Justin's runs a, the Facebook group and uh, does a heck of a job at it and um, just. I appreciate him. Uh, you know, uh, let me look at my car. Just make sure I got Donald Black with black sight work, tan tamping uh, with Mark IV, and uh, Mount Airy Polaris. I uh, want to thank Vince and Sims and Tucker. They're great people. They've been supporting me for a lot of years. Divtran Machining. Um, just Bob Colin, VP Race Fuels. We haven't really even announced it, but... VP came on board this year in a big way and uh, super thankful for them. Um, just there's so many people that help out that I'm just super thankful for. And man, truthfully, uh, I wouldn't be able to do what I do without them. Uh, all the product sponsors here, we'll get you a shot of them real quick. Um, which a lot of them are not only product sponsors, but they do other stuff too. So, um, you know, thanks to them guys, man. And uh, yeah, just. Big A's custom graphics, all the ones on the windows. Um, I know I've kind of been long-winded with this, but I got to thank all my sponsors because truthfully, when you get in situations like I have where you are in somebody else's mess and you wipe out a race car or you unexpectedly blow a motor up, um, these are the people that we lean on. And, you know, if I didn't have them, I would, uh, I wouldn't be able to even do this at all or remotely think about getting everything fixed. So, um, and then also I just want to take the time to thank all my, all my crew guys and my family and friends, my crew guys, y'all know who y'all are. Um, they bust their butts. They come out and help and uh, support us at the racetrack, support us at the shop during the week. Um, my family, everybody that supports me, my fiance, Jenna, like I said, sweet victory already. She does so much for me. My mom, my stepmom, Tadpole, Brandon, Shelby. Um, uh, just everybody. My dad, number one. You know, dad, dad does this whole deal. Um, just so many people to thank. And uh, wouldn't be out here without all those people. And then last but not least, uh, Fergie Nation. I appreciate you guys for always supporting us and watching this and commenting. Um... You know, we just relaunched Shop for E22. We just dropped a couple hats. Uh, we got some new shirts going to be out for Eldora. We're going to catch up on some merchandise, but Sweet Victory has been growing a ton and um, been kind of, you know, working that in and and also working in um, everything that we're doing and, and just got so many exciting plans I don't want to tell you guys about, but I can't write this second. So, um, but I promise you we will be back. Uh, you know it's 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 a lot going on but like i said i just felt obligated to, to give you guys kind of an update and um yeah that's about it um gonna get back finish washing because i am headed to uh charlotte motor speedway as soon as i finish i gotta bring jenna lunch and um i'm sure i gotta take brendan the hot water uh, pressure washer because he owns a bounce house business 22 rentals hit him up for all your inflatable needs around Charlotte. He, he pressure washes, hot pressure washes all of his stuff. So it's clean for your kids. And my brother's done so much for me over the years that his business is, um, that that's one of his things that he's got going and I want to support him and uh, give him a plug. And if you, uh, if you do use him, mention this video, he'll hook you up. And, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna get back to work. Uh, see you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry I talk so much, got a lot to say, not a lot of time. Talk to you soon.